I'm going to go back to the higher max review. So this again will be in the web in the website, UNet results, and I can go just to search here and I'll just type in Norm. He's the the one that does this. Those of you familiar with the TTI and those assessments. When you come in here, if you come into the website, um, Gary Gunn interviewed Norm, and this is what they put together. And so I, I would highly recommend when you have, I think it's about a, uh, maybe about a 35 minute video, come in here and uh, watch this. It's pretty good information as well. You want to do that first and foremost. But then we've got uh, the job positions that I want to look at, the pre-planning forms. And that's a download, which anybody can come in here and download this information, but we have an opportunity we can go over it a little bit here. So this is your hiring max job position pre-planning, four questions to plan for talent, uh, talent selection success. You know, why should an applicant work for you? What kind of candidate best fits your needs? How do you find your best fit candidate and how do you make that decision? So this is just more helpful information, you know, that you can go in and do to help yourself hire, attract and retain that right individual, right? So why should an applicant work for you? And this is a planning form, right? And so what you can do is go in here and just completely fill this out. So let's use a, uh, let's read through this real quick. So you put your company name, description, what's the job position and the details of that position that you want to hire for? So I know that uh, right now, um, there's some people on this call that are in, in, in the mix of looking for a good hire, right? To bring somebody good on their team. And so I'm going to talk to um, Aaron and Nikki a little bit and ask them, how is the uh, service writer search going for your manager and trainee and training? Well, and get you off. You're good. We just, um, put the ad on Facebook yesterday and uh, did it on indeed today. <coughs> We've got um, Aaron's a couple people that are coming in. Well, I've got a little bit of interest, nothing solid. Yet. But it's only, you know, it's only Tuesday. And we didn't okay. really get a chance to, I didn't get a chance to write the ad until this weekend. So mm -hmm. you and I had talked, we'll be talked on Thursday about what to put in it. Yeah. Um, but Friday was a crazy Friday. And so I, I wrote the ad this weekend and we, Got on Facebook yesterday and, any, and indeed um, just before the webinar started. So, mm -hmm. um, excellent. Yeah, we talked. We talked about some of the stuff that was really important to you guys to have in this person that comes on board with you, and that's kind of what you know this form does here. And so, as you fill it out, then you go through here putting all the information, job position description, you describe the overall job duties and characteristics, your working environment, you know, some of these questions, is travel required, is a relocation, uh, what's the compensation package going to look like, uh, what benefits are we able to offer to the individual, then you have your the posting and planning form, you know, what kind of candidate really best fits your needs. And so really it's a big process of thinking and understanding what is exactly what you're looking for. One of my favorite parts, here's some hard skills required, you know, which Nikki and Aaron and I talked about this. We didn't have this form. We didn't use this form, but in hindsight probably should have because boy, this kind of puts in everything in perspective for you. And then you got your position, your soft skills, Critical fit requirements, right? Fill this section in from assessment based on job report. So competencies and personal skills and talents. So, you know, Brian, if you're going to hire a service advisor, what would one of those personal skills and talents be that you would a must have item on, on for that individual? They've got to be people orientated. People oriented. Yep, absolutely. 
How about you, Andy? What would one of those require personal skills or talents be? And we're doing this for a service writer. Is that correct? Yep, a manager in training. So it's going to be a service writer, but we want somebody with the potential that could really impact that organization and help with some manage, management in, in, things as well. Um, I'm going to say math skills. Math skills. That's excellent. I, I like that one, and it's not one people think of a lot. I don't know if any of you guys remember Mike Carter. Kevin, I know you know Mike Carter. Um, Mike owns a shop in um, Woodstock, Georgia, Chloe's Car Care, Mike Carter. I used to work with Mike, but uh, he all, would always make his service advisors would have to pass, be able to pass a math test that he would give them. Um, he's the only one that really did that, but, you know, it's a big, big deal in our world, especially if they're dealing with uh, dollars, right? They're dealing with our dollars and cents. So good. What's another one? Um, Joe Evans, that would be, say, for number three, when you look at these uh, soft skills, what would be something you really would like to have in the person you bring on? Well, they're going to need basic computer skills um, mm -hmm. to operate today. Everybody's on using some type of uh, shop software system, uh, being able to, able to adapt to it and, uh, and to a change in case you do change systems. Uh, and being able to just uh, type in and use all uh, spell checks, basic things sometimes we think about, but you'd be amazed. Many people don't know how to use things like spell check or uh, being able to just uh, enter information in, you know, name, address, that sort of thing. Absolutely. And I know, um, Joe, in your personal situation at your shop, you know, I guess a little while ago, we lost a really good um, loop tech right. and have struggled to get this individual replaced. And so we, we've had some, what were your own words, Joe? Not good fits? <laughs> no, we've had some, uh, yeah, we've had to come in and, you know, uh, without a driver's license. And, you know, it's, it's obvious they've got problems when they walk in the door and start talking, you know. So then they're not a fit. You're exactly right. Yeah, so. yeah. And so this is a good tool that we can use uh, really no matter what position that we're looking to bring on so that we can establish what our criteria really is. So we don't settle for less. And at the end of the day, it's going to help prevent from um, you from having some turnover. You know, hopefully, you know, the, you know, the result end result being you retain that individual that you hired. Here's some bench strength information, you know, uh, for the candidates, marketing of the position, you know, describe an attractive ad for, for, for placement, you know, where are you going to put this and so forth. So some really good tools here uh, that are at everybody's disposal and certainly something if anybody uh, you know, like has questions or anything, this is something we could do during a coaching session to nail this down. And then, of course, there's more steps behind it. Uh, once this is filled out and you kind of have your criteria put in place, then there's going to be more steps in regards to, you know, how we're going to screen this person out basically versus screen them in, how we're going to make sure we really don't settle for anything less than what we actually want, especially right now. Um, you know, I found a couple things. One, there's a lot of people without jobs, but then there's a lot of people who uh, are happily without a job, which is unfortunate. Uh, because they're getting paid so much on the unemployment, which is just ridiculous. And so if you're not getting a lot of bites, that could be why. Uh, but obviously things will have to loosen up and change here soon. But in the meantime, if you're looking for individuals, I'd still put those ads out right now and start already interviewing and talking to people over the phone, you know, with your criteria and start finding out good fit people. You really don't want to wait until you need somebody uh, to bring somebody on.